Hello everyone, I hope you all doing good. And uh, today's video we will see uh, distillation column and we will calculate mass balance, energy balance, and also mass fraction, mole fraction, and the feed stream, and then the distillate uh, stream, and the bottom, and also we will uh, do all the material and energy balance around the distillation element and we'll, today we will see just simply the introductory part and can videos or we will go more deeper on distillation element so let's start a simple calculation as a component we have a toluene and also uh, we have a methyl cyclohexane are uh, introduced as a feed 50 50 and also we have a solvent phenol so let's try to find the methyl cyclohexane from the search uh, so we can write methyl and we can select the begins with button and we can search for methyl cyclohexane from from this alternative so we can easily select that the methyl cyclohexane So here I have the metal cyclohexane. So I have phenol as a solvent. So now the the component part is filled. Uh, let's go to the method. So here I can see that there is the red button. So I have to fill the method section and let's go to the method and for this process uh, let's select uh, the unified the unified method and let's click on the next button and uh, so let's go to the simulation area so for this introductory example so we can go to the columns and we can uh, do the rad frag uh, let's select the rad frag uh, so we can see the distillation column and let's select the rad frag so here we have the feed feed uh, that means uh, methyl cyclohexane and the toluene solution and we have as a solvent we have the phenol the phenol we have and here we have the distillate the distillate or the top product and uh, here we can have the bottom product uh, so from the above we expect the methyl cyclohexane and from the bottom we expect uh, both the phenol and also the toluene uh, so let's give all the parameters for the feed parameters so for our case uh, we're using uh, 220 uh, degree Fahrenheit just rather than checking or uh, changing here I can go here to the to the setup part and I can change uh, English engineering uh, global unit and then the things gonna be uh, the units gonna be with uh, English engineering 
units so pressure use the pressure 20 PSIA and the more flow for the tolling let's use 200 and for the metal cycler exam as it is 200 so on the field stream we have only the tolling and metal cycler exam so we wouldn't have this phenol in the field stream but here we have in the phenol stream so we can uh, uh, give the input uh, so the temperature is the same 120 and uh, the pressure is 20 and the phenol uh, mole flow rate is 1200 so now the red button is gone now let's go to our uh, we will be seeing the red button around the blocks let's let's feed the the block parameters so let's go to the configuration or you can go to the main flow sheet and also you can down click on the block so number use the number of stage to 22 22 number of stage and and the condenser type total condenser and the discharge rate is uh, 200 and use the reflex ratio tnt i mean uh, 8 so the red button has gone now let's, let's go to another red button now here uh, so we are introducing the feed at the 14th uh, stage and the phenol is introduced at the 7th stage so the display at the top is uh, so you can see uh, so we start the counting the base from from the top and we can start counting here and and the counting at the bottom so so let's uh, end the here from the top the pressure is 16 and at the bottom at the 20 uh, second uh, day uh, the pressure is 20.2 so so the pressure uh, so let's use uh, click on that button and select the pressure profile and at the stage one the pressure is uh, 16 and at the 22nd bit the pressure is 20.2 so if you click so all the read buttons button has been gone so now uh, it's ready for so now we can run the process let's run the process and let's see uh, the output it's running yeah this is wonderful the result is available so now we can so wonderfully the result is available and now we can go to the uh we can right click on the log and we can go to the stream result and <clears throat> before going to the stream result let's go to the result and let's see uh, the balance let's see the balance so uh, now you we can see here uh, the mole flow the molar mole balance and also you can see it's a 100 and 1600 here also the output is also 1600 that means the solution is uh, the total of 400 and the the solvent is 1000 
so 1200 so the total is 1600 and also you can see the mass balance and also you can see the energy balance and also you can see the relative difference of the error it's a very small uh, so now let's go to the let's go to the stream results let's go to the stream result and let's see the so now we can see the temperature at the feed and uh, the temperature at the bottom and the temperature at the top at the distillate stream and also you can see the pressure at the bottom top of the feed stream and the solvent stream and, and at the everywhere so you can see at the pressure at the distillate is 16 and the at the bottom is a, uh, a 20.2 and also we can see the molar enthalpy, the mass enthalpy, molar entropy, mass entropy, and the molar density, mass density. We can also see the uh, enthalpy, uh, average molecular weight. So everything. So now we can see uh, the mole fractions at the feed stream. So that in the feed stream, the methyl cyclohexane is 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.5 uh, for toluene and methyl cyclohexane, but that the, in the solution stream we don't have this phenol, and so now we can uh, able to see this 99% uh, the top product is uh, methyl cyclohexane. So we are achieving 99% of uh, the methyl cyclohexane, and if we see the bottom product, the higher amount is uh, so the phenol is dominating, and we still have the methyl cyclohexane and toluene in the bottom stream at the top stream, but there is very small amount of uh, toluene and very small amount of phenol. Uh, we can also check the mass fractions the, in, if you see the in terms of mass fraction the top stream still we have we can see uh, we have great amount of 99% uh, of the methyl cyclohexane and 0 0.00 very small amount of phenol and uh, uh, toll so let's go to the profile uh, so in the profile stream uh, in the profile area, we can see the mold. Uh, also, let's see the temperature. No, you can see. Okay, look, the temperature is. Uh, if you go, these are the number of base. So, at the number of base increase, uh, if you count uh, from top down to down, the temperature is increasing, and the same way, uh, the pressure is also increasing, and. We can also see the composition of the uh, the methyl cyclohexane and toluene and phenol throughout the base. So the first state that is at the top, we have the higher amount of methyl cyclohexane, and here we can see the very small amount of toluene. And the amount of toluene, as you go down to the base, uh, the toluene is increasing, uh, and and you know at the end the amount of toluene is. Uh, uh, decreased and if you see the phenol it was very small at the top uh, it increased at the middle and now it's decreased and you can see there's nothing it's decreased and it's shown that it's increasing so that's because we introduced the fe the phenol in the middle so and we're using the phenol as a, a so, so we're using phenol as a solvent so another parameter we have the k value that means uh which is called the vapor liquid equilibrium ratio or the simply the k value represent uh it's represent the ratio of the mole fraction of vapor y to the mole fraction in the liquid xx and so it's also called henry's law k is refers to as the henry's constant so uh, that is the the ratio of uh, vapor to liquid. So 